All right, family, welcome back to day two of how you enter a relationship is how it will thrive or not. Okay, so yesterday I made reference to the Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian debacle. And today I am going to address it in a different um, way, which is, come on, come on in. So I actually hear people complain about their relationship being dull and stale and they're losing their um, love or attraction for their partner and they're wondering what they could do in order to build this sexy feeling back up or the whole attractiveness feeling to them. They want to get rid of the staleness, the mundaneness to the relationship and that really has to do with how you enter the relationship is how the relationship has to work and thrive or not. In this case, you want it to thrive. So what you do to get her, what you do to get him is what you have to continuously do throughout the relationship. I said it a, maybe not a million, but I've definitely said it at least a hundred times on this channel that you absolutely have to continuously date your partner. You have to continuously make new experiences. However, if you was a person who decided to swoop them off of their feet and that is how you got the person, guess what? You set yourself up. <laughs> especially if it was extravagant things. So if you were a person who decided to be the extravagant showboating person that has to take your boo out on these extravagant trips and maybe to, um, you know, exotic destinations or whatever, you decided to put the airs up and uh, put the wheels up in the air and take her out to make her feel like, you know what, I got this going on, then guess what? That's what you are going to have to continuously do. If you were the person to bring the flowers every time or a gift doesn't have to be flowers. but And now that the relationship is going on and it's continuously getting stale, it's probably getting stale because you have stopped bringing the flowers and or gifts to your person. If you were the person that always felt like sex was thrown in there because maybe maybe you didn't know that that was your partner's love language, but that was something you was always doing. You guys felt really, really close to each other and not just the sex, like everything was falling into place. And so you wanted to give sex. You wanted to be uh, really close and intimate with your partner in that specific way. And now that has fallen off the wayside or you feel like this is a good way to punish your partner because you know that they are into having sex all the time number one don't be punishing your partner by doing that like that's a no-go that's the grounds for uh you setting up your relationship for failure and for inviting someone else into the um into 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 the party without you wanting them there as in uh cheating as in you are setting yourself up for failure so don't do that do not use sex as a weapon um so that's just a side note so however you entered into relationship is how you have to keep up with the relationship. Again, you should be, you still absolutely should be dating. You absolutely should still be laughing and finding things to um, just find uh, happiness in as far as like laughter goes. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you are a person who has decided to slack off in your relationship because... It doesn't matter what the reasoning is. Life just got in the way. But you want to make sure that your relationship is thriving. Then you have to pick back up the things that you were doing in the very beginning. Swooping him or her off of her feet. Absolutely incorporating the dates. Absolutely trying to understand what their love language is as well. Because that is absolutely going to help your relationship thrive. And, um move to the next level if you understand your partner's love um, language then you absolutely can help your relationship go on so many levels of smooth <laughs> yeah i just made that up go on so many levels of smooth that you will have you, you will be like you know how come i didn't know this before and so if you don't know what the five language love languages are i'll just quickly say them i actually did a book review on them so definitely check out my book review so they can go more in depth of what the five love languages are but i'll just quickly mention them here just in case this is your very first time and you time here and you never heard them which is um physical touch quality time acts of service um gifts i brought up gifts before 
and words of affirmation. So you absolutely should find out what your partner's love language is. Like I said, you will have wondered how come you didn't understand how to show and love your partner the way that they need to be loved because most of the time when we are showing the love it's because this is the way that we want to be loved so if you are a person who's always constantly giving gifts nine times out of ten it's because that's the way that you want your partner to show their love towards you which is you want to receive gifts and a lot of times we don't think about this to say you know what he always buys me gifts or she always buys me gifts it's because that's the way that she she wants to be shown love or if she's a touchy feel touchy feely person maybe her love language is physical touch and so that's why she's always wanting to touch you and you are not understanding that she's doing that because that's what she needs or she might always be complaining or he might always be complaining about you guys not spending enough time together maybe quality time is the person's um love language at least primary now in his book he does say that you have to at least love the person out of out of the love languages two or three different ways in order to keep your relationship running on a smooth um even road basically and so if you're only loving them in one of the love languages it can work but it'll still be a little rocky but if you push it to two and definitely to three like focus on those main three that you know about your partner then your relationship will run so much smooth so i definitely recommend the book the five love languages by gary chapman absolutely like i said already to check out my book review and if you need some help with any of your relationships and you're just wondering how can you work with me well definitely check out my online courses all of that information is down in the description box below check out the courses go ahead and take the courses um, two of them are 10 weeks and one is 12 weeks but you'll definitely get so much information out of all of the courses and you'll understand exactly who you are exactly what you want need and desire from yourself and from your relationships whether you are single in the dating stages or in a long-term relationship slash marriage i will see you I will see you guys again tomorrow. Yes, we are doing this thing. I will see you again tomorrow.